Hello traders, uh, this is Orlando for Tradingmo and welcome again to a uh, new weekly market breakdown. We are going to be looking at my key levels on the various instruments or various currency pairs that I have on my watch list. And uh, we are going to look at the at the um, uh, well at the main markets, uh, the Euro US dollar, the GBP USD. The DXY, we're going to have a look at crude oil uh, and uh, um, maybe the USD CAD if we have enough time. Uh, but before we, I start with this, don't forget, forget to subscribe to uh, our channel below. Uh, I do, co I do uh, post videos every single day. And if you want to get notified whenever I do, because you remember that this is time sensitive information. Whenever I post it, you want to have it in your ears and in your eyes. Just subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and you will get notified every single time. And you will also get notified whenever I go live because I go live every single day. Now, um, also, uh, I have left, uh, I mean, if you want to join our premium services and get my exact trade levels or from my trade ideas and uh, more premium analysis, I'm leaving you with uh, a um, great promotion uh, where you can test uh, our premium services out for only $25 the first month. After that, it's 50 bucks a month, still great value. Uh, for what you will be getting uh, and uh, the link is on the description below this video now let's get started yes those were drumsticks uh, all right so uh, let's start with uh, the uh, news out of uh, the UK brexit news again uh, well let's move down because there has been a lot and it's uh, not even noon uh, well, it's uh, it's four, it's five a.m. here, um, a, my time, but uh, I guess uh, it's noon somewhere. <laughs> so uh, you we have Brexit. UK opposition Labour chief party leader Corbyn says this week could be our last chance to stop a no deal Brexit. Remember that Prime Minister Johnson. Uh, is trying to push by every means necessary a no deal Brexit. He wants out of the UK by October the 31st. And uh, he, uh, well, the moves that he is making is to push his no deal agenda, which will be disastrous for the, for the, uh, for the UK economy and for the British pound. So let's continue. Uh, UK's Corbyn says an election would give the people a choice between two different directions for the country. Now, this is nonsense too. You cannot hold a uh, an election uh, this uh, in this time frame. Okay, Co UK Corbyn. No, no, let's continue. Let's move forward. UK Prime Minister Jones Johnson spokesperson said. Uh, ask if government uh, believes in rule of law, says every government adheres to the law. Um, this is because early on, I didn't show you this, I think, uh, uh, well, this, yeah, this was around 3.30 my time, uh, or 4.30 my time, here it is. This was very important. Um, all right, so Brexit, applic uh, uh, no, no, no. This was it. You know what? I'm going to read it off our um, Discord channel. Oops, I'm sorry. I showed you my trade levels, but that will be blurred on the video. I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah, at 4 a.m. my time, Brexit, UK uh, rebel MPs are aiming to pass legislation blocking no deal Brexit in just a few hours. And rebel uh, lawmakers plan. Uh, to force the Prime Minister of the, to the EU ask for a Brexit extension if he doesn't have a deal before October the 31st. 
And then we had a UK Prime Minister Johnson spokesperson say it would be entirely unreasonable for lawmakers to try to bind the hands of the PM as he seeks new deal Brexit, new Brexit deal, uh, which in my opinion is completely untrue. He is not seeking a new deal. He is seeking just to leave the uh, UK. Uh, I'm sorry, the EU by October the 31st. Uh, by no all means necessary and push his no deal agenda and uh, Brexit UK Prime Minister Johnson spokesperson says UK will leave the EU on October 31st whatever the circumstances so there you go a lot of balls coming out of the UK and we also had uh, the uh, to add to this the uh, UK uh, market manufacturing PMI uh, which came out uh, worse than expected at 47.4 versus 48 previous and an estimate of uh, 48.4. So that uh, added to that, to all the, well, let's have a look at the uh, British pound against the US dollar, shall we? Uh, I, well, all that adding to the uh, bad economic data, well, uh, had the pound drop for more than 100 pips already and continuing this massive bearish move all right and uh, what i'm looking at right now is uh, i mean uh, it's at the 120 level now if we break with the 120 level guys that is going to be a very big deal because uh, i mean uh, if you know how i draw how how well how i draw lines Red lines are historic uh, levels of support and resistance, uh, and uh, green lines are, uh, well, immediate levels of support and resistance. So why don't we go to the daily chart, all right? We're going to go to the daily chart, and let's see where was the last time we tested that 120. Well, uh, the last time that we tested that, that the 120 level was in January 2017, and the last time we broke with uh, the 120 uh, was uh, in October 2016. So, uh, if you remember correctly, this was the Brexit move right here. This was the Brexit move. The pound was healthy, trading uh, around uh, the 148 level. And then we had uh, that... I think that this was a Brexit move. Yeah, uh, that we had Brexit. And then we had a flash crash on the pound again here. And this is where we tested the 120. Now, let's go back to where we were where we are trading right now. And what is going on in the UK? And this is what's important. I mean, I see a retest of the 120 no matter what. I mean, uh, with uh, the political... Um, environment in the UK, a pos the possibility of a no-deal Brexit and everything going on, I do believe that we have a high possibility of testing that 120. Now, remember, uh, I showed you right, now, uh, right before that uh, we did historically when we tested that 120 is that that was where buyers were coming in but because of all of this and uh, because we are approaching the brexit deadline with no deal being passed by parliament and boris johnson blocking parliament i do believe that the possibility of breaking with the 120 is is uh fairly high so i will be looking for short opportunities on the pound not only because we are in a massive down i mean technically we are in a massive down uh move but because um uh like i just told you uh, the environment around uh, the uk and around uh, this currency is terrible um and i don't see it going any other way so again if you want to trade uh look, have my exact trade levels and uh whenever that they happen um just join premium that's 25 dollars for the first month guys uh, i can't tell you how much of a uh, a value you're missing for just 25 dollars all right now 
I'm not going to repeat it again. The link is below. Now let's move on. Uh, let's look at the US dollar, shall we? We're going to look at the US dollar, then we're going to look at uh, um, gold. Uh, not too much going on in gold. We're not going to be looking at gold on this weekly market breakdown. Um, but let's have a look at the uh, well, the US dollar. Now, if you remember, we had a um, we had uh, two Fridays ago. We had this big crash on the US dollar, um, and we uh, I was uh, looking at these levels right here. Okay, now. Um, let me just uh, do this with you guys. All right. So I was looking at these levels for a possible, uh, well, for, for a possible retest because of this massive blue move to the downside. All right. But again, buyers came in at these levels and pushed price up. Now we have erased all the losses from that crash two Fridays ago, and we uh, and we have tested the previous highs and the 9880 level which is a very important historic level and we are on our way to test the 9980 level now let's go back to the one day or let's move to the one uh to the daily chart and as you can see these are the uh key levels that we are working with the uh, 9880 9980 and uh, the 100 and 120 uh just so you know very important historic levels on the dxy now let's move back to the four hour chart shall we now if we move to the four hour chart uh you can see that uh well we move again uh uh we moved above the 9880 we tested it and uh, we are now moving higher now big news coming out of the uk as we speak very strong rumors uh all right let me show you very strong rumors in westminster today that election could be called this week no mama with verbal commitment of polling day pre-october 31st a guardian chief political correspondent says now this, this is why it's so important to have a news terminal okay now i'm just going to be um sharing this with my premium members this is another thing that you get with uh, your premium membership to the second news so uh yeah uh, we were talking about that um uh, that big level on the us dollar we are very bullish on the us dollar uh, and looking to test that 9880 okay so we're going to be looking for uh, long opportunities on this currency all right so oof, look at the look at the pound moving a uh, big rejection of the previous lows on the pound i mean i would definitely not be a buyer here but um uh, maybe we do get an opportunity to short uh, the pound higher and that would be great actually all right uh, Let's move on to the um, right to the Euro USD. Uh, not too much to say on the Euro US dollar, only that uh, we did break with the 1020 and the 110 level, big levels that we broke uh, to the downside on the Euro. Uh, not don't, not not too much to say, only that I will be looking to uh, short uh, the Euro around these levels if we manage to test them again all right if not i remain flat in this currency which is fine i mean uh, there's a lot more opportunities in the market than the euro us dollar all right so let's move forward uh with uh yep hold on let me just uh move this uh from my other screen all right now let's have a look at uh wti shall we um Again, uh, uh, very interesting uh, how uh, crude oil well has been um, uh, watching sellers jump in and around the fifty six ninety five level. Again, this is this is a chart on the WTI. Those are CFDs on crude oil. If you're looking at uh, 
uh, uh, Kuroi futures, you might have a different pricing. Uh, but uh, price action remains the same, so you might actually just uh, extrapolate what I'm saying to your own own charts, uh, not just take the the uh, blindly the levels that you are looking here. Uh, though, so this is where we have found sellers jumped in, and uh, we are in what seems to be a um, rising triangle with a top or a cap at the 56.95 level. And if we manage to break above it, that would mean a, a bullish continuation. Again, thick zone here at the 56.60. Let's put, why don't we put on a uh, a nice volume profile here on the um, on crude oil to see where the high volume is being traded. And uh, what do you know? Well, we are bouncing right off uh, the point of control point of control for you that don't know what point of control is point of control is the um the level where the highest volume has been traded in the uh well in the spam that the actual volume profile is calculating volume all right so we're bouncing from that point of control uh i'm going to wait uh, to um i mean there's nothing to um in my eyes, there's no trade setup right here. I will be looking at this level for uh, maybe a short opportunity uh, if we see buyers jumping in again. Uh, and if we have a clean break, maybe a buy on, on this asset. Now let's move on. Um, we can have a look at, um, well, see, let's have a look at silver, shall we? Now, silver is in a uh, nice uh, move to, uh, well, in a nice big uh, bullish move. Uh, uh, so is gold. The moving silver is, um, has been in the lately uh, a lot cleaner than gold. But uh, if we go to the daily chart, I mean, we are we are we are working with these uh, key levels right here. Um, let me just move this alert a little bit down. Yep, save. Uh, yep, that's an alert because I am going to put on a, a trade uh, at these levels. And if you want to get it, just join premium for twenty-five bucks the first month. It's fifty. Uh, moving forward but you can test it for $25 I mean if you are not willing to pay $25 to test us out uh, you are really not serious about making money trading effects right now uh, again big levels big levels we're, that we're working with uh, on the daily uh, let's move on to the I'm sorry four hour chart and uh, uh, what's interesting about this is that let me just thicken this out all right yeah, I'm sorry about those big, uh, quick moves. I know it's uh, not visually what's best, but uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, uh, we tested that level uh, right here. And not only that, we tested it and uh, we tested the, uh, well, the, um, uh, the high part of that bullish structure, all right? Now, um, the way that uh, you draw these bullish structures is that you put on a uh, uh, well, a um, a trend line joining the the uh, higher lows, and just to copy uh, copy the same one to the to the first high. And as you can see, uh, well, it confluence it perfectly with a test and a drop at these levels and now we are trading inside of what seems to be a triangle formation but I, I am looking for a sh maybe a short opportunity the thing is that uh the the 1814 uh level is where buyers have been found over and over uh right here so um we should and we need to have a clean uh, uh, well a uh, a clean break of this level a retest for a continuation lower in my eyes all right uh for the time being we, we remain flat and we are going to be trading this when the opportunity this uh when and if the opportunity comes all right 
more news coming out of uh, the UK. Let's have a look. Uh, Bay, uh, Irish PM Varad, Varad Carr says there will be a lead in the time, in time for any no deal contingency plans for border. Uh, this is, I mean, he's talking about the Northern Ireland border, of course. Um, let's see, Irish PM Varad Carr says significant financial package will be needed for companies in no deal, majority from Irish Exchequer. PM, uh, Irish PM Vardakar uh, says we'll use meeting with U.S. Vice President Pence to highlight Brexit risks on Ireland. So if you don't know about this, uh, well, uh, uh, in a case of uh, no deal Brexit, is that I mean, that would be disastrous for, uh, for Northern Ireland because... Uh, um the uh, i mean uh, northern ireland is part of the eu right and uh um the uk will no longer be part of the eu that means that uh, the and the only border that northern ireland has with the EU, uh with the eu is the border that it has with uh, the uk so if the uk leaves the eu that would that would mean that the border where the, where the EU products come from the EU to Ireland is going to be a hard border, meaning that it is no longer to be part of the um, uh, of the um, of the European free market. All right, and that's a problem for uh, 